And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for July 12th. All is quiet worldwide after Elsa's rampage over the east coast of the United States. 39 storms have formed so far this year on day 193 of the year, otherwise known as July 12, 2021. Over in the Atlantic, it's back into the quiet times for the time being for this part of the world. The current ratio stands at 5 to 1 to 0. Jumping over to the Eastern Pacific, two AOIs that currently don't have invest labels. Uh, one of them is rated at 70% in five days. The other one, AOI 2, is rated at 50% in five days on day 58 of hurricane season for the Eastern Pacific. Over in the West Pacific, it's also fairly quiet for this part of the world and for the foreseeable future as there are no current areas of interest to monitor for this part of the world. The same can be said for the North Indian, which is fairly quiet as per usual for this time of year. However, monsoonal activity is ongoing in this part of the world. Jumping into the satellite imagery for the Northern Atlantic, Elsa is completely off the radar. Uh, nothing is terribly exciting going on at the moment in this part of the world. Over in the Eastern Pacific, 70% AOI is slowly getting its act together with all that thunderstorm activity and AOI 2, you can barely trace it right now. Over in the Western Pacific, it's looking fairly quiet for this part of the world. Nothing is expected here in the next five days. No invests are currently in the North Indian Ocean. Uh, monsoonal activity is still ongoing in this part of the world, as you can see on your screen right about now. Sea surface temperatures, the West Pacific is still incredibly warm with 30 degree temperatures still registering east of the Philippines. Uh, the North Indian is cooling off due to monsoonal activity. Uh, the Atlantic still remains fairly warm after Elsa moved through a few days ago. Uh, the East Pacific is slowly getting there. Uh, the spot south of Mexico still remains fairly warm. The rest of the East Pacific is roughly around 20 to 25 degrees. And the uh, Southern Hemisphere is in winter mode right now, so nothing really should be expected in the Southern Hemisphere. Sea surface temperature anomalies. Now the East Pacific uh, area from Baja California all the way down to Hawaii is cooler than average. Uh, the Northern Central Pacific is still largely above average. The subtropics of the Atlantic still remain fairly below average. Um, the Atlantic Tropic area uh, remains at or above average. Uh, the Western Pacific is also warmer than average. And the North Indian is mostly above average apart from the Western Central Arabian Sea. On this day in 1991, July 12th, Typhoon Zeke, Philippine name Itang, uh, peaked on this day before landfalling in Hainan and causing widespread damage. You can find more on this day graphics over at the Cyclone History on Twitter. Up next in the Atlantic Storm naming list is Fred and followed by Grace. Over in the Eastern Pacific, the next name is Felicia, followed by Guillermo. Over in the Central Pacific, the next name on the list still remains to be Hone. Over in the West Pacific, on list 4, the next name on the list is Infa, followed by Sempaka. Up next in the Indian Ocean, the next name is Gulab, followed by Shaheen, which we shouldn't see for quite some time. Jumping over to the Australian region, the next name on the list is Paddy, followed by Ruby. Over in the southwestern Indian, on its new naming list for the 2021-2022 uh, 
Cyclone season for the third time this year, Ana is up next, followed by Batsirai. And over in the Fiji region, the next name on the list is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.